welcome back to my channel. This is the first time I've done a workout video in a really long time. Um, so I thought I would do, I promised you in my last video or my pregnancy vlog video that I would do like pregnancy workouts. And this is pregnancy workout number one for the first trimester. So this is the one that I've been doing with Lucy <laughs> for the whole first trimester, kind of like two or three times a week. And it's low impact. Absolutely. Right? Yep, low impact. It's all safe, completely 100% safe for the first trimester of preg or any time in pregnancy, but specifically the first trimester. During the first trimester, I was really, really tired. So I couldn't really do that much. One a week is better than nothing. So if you want to see how to do this workout, then you can follow along with us. We're gonna do it three times total. We've made sure we have warmed up because it is cold it's, in it's here. It's freezing. We are doing a bit of um, marching on the spot. But just to quickly, while you do your just sort of little march and warm up, what is really important is to remember it is actually a really good thing to exercise throughout pregnancy because it really helps keep you and your baby fit. The most important thing is just always make sure you do the right exercises. And as Anna said, we're doing this, it's all a low impact. We're not doing any high intensity. And the two things that we should avoid are doing any twisting through the trunk area and also lying on your back. So, um, which is obviously, we're not doing either of those today. So we're gonna show you a really healthy and safe way to keep fit. We're gonna do that knee lift and bust lift at the same time. So we've got the feet hip width distance apart and we're just gonna come up and then squeeze that back. So we're gonna do 30 of these. Now the benefit with this one here is we're gonna be working through the core muscles, so we're still helping to strengthen through that abdominal area, which is really important, because that's gonna help get you back in shape quickly after the baby, but it also really helps protect your baby and it helps with the delivery process as well. Plus what we're doing here, by working through the arms, we're gonna to help to keep the bust lifted and we're gonna slowly raise that heart rate by adding the knee lift as well. So it's low impact and toning all over. What number are we on? <laughs> uh, 28. There we are, okay, well done. So actually, should we do another 10? Yeah. That's quite easy, 10, and then let's go nine, and take that eight, and let's go seven, that's good, and take it six, five, and then four, let's go last three, two, and one. Okay, perfect. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do a lunge, and we're gonna add an uh, um, arm movement to it. So you wanna start with the feet slightly wider than shoulder width distance apart. We'll have the arms in front, and now we're gonna lunge down, and then extend back up. So we'll go for doing 30 of these, alternating the legs. So we take it down. The great thing is with a lunge, it's gonna tone the whole of the lower body. If you're worried about balance, you can always do it. So you could just have one arm by a wall and just take that in front and then back. And remember with a lunge, you want to make sure you don't let that knee come over the line of the toes. And back, that's good. Okay, 15. Yeah. Halfway through and then we'll take that back. And also what we're doing here by using the arms just means then we're working a little bit harder and the one thing you will find with pregnancy is you will feel slightly more out of breath. But if you think about it, it's because your body is doing so much more. Okay, well then what number are we on? 25. 25. <laughs> okay, so let's go last four, and then take it three, and then we're gonna go two, and now last one. All right, brilliant. So next one we're gonna do is we're gonna come into a plie squat. So for this one, we take the feet out. And what's really important here Keep that upper body straight and we're just going to slowly lower down and then push back up. So what we're doing now, we're working through those inner and outer thighs. Good. And really make sure we keep that upper body nice and straight. So once we've done the 10, we're going to hold it there and we're going to add in two really good exercises which are going to really help with the delivery. Take that down and back. Okay, that's good. So what I want you to do now is place one hand on your back, the other one on the tummy, and now just gently draw in your abs, hold for a second, and then slowly release. And you're gonna do that a couple of times. What you're doing there is you're strengthening your deepest abdominal muscle, known as your transverse abdominus, and then release. You don't want to hold your breath, so still breathe normally, just pull it in and release. 
Okay, I'm gonna do that once more. Throw it in and release. And the next thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna work the pelvic floor muscles. So imagine here, that's like a hammock, that muscle. So pull your shoulders back and just imagine now you're stopping in mid P and you just hold, hold that there and then just slowly release. So these are like the Kegel exercises. So again, just draw it up and release. And again, once more, let's draw that up and release. Now let's just take that back to 10 PA squat. And I think what happens a lot of times, they get used to do your Kegel floor exercises after yeah. pregnancy, but actually it's really important to do them throughout because that's really going to help to keep that area fully toned. All right, well done, and back down. And let's just go two more. And now last one. So this time, let's do that again. So let's just work those abdominals. So gently draw it in, hold, and then release. And again, just draw that in, and then release. And if you think about it, especially with the pelvic floor, if you think your uterus is growing, the baby's growing, everything, it's like a constant weight being pushed down. And that's why it's important that we try and keep those muscles nice and tight. Okay, and release. So let's go back to that pelvic floor. So visualize, we're just gonna now draw it up, draw it up, hold it there, and then slowly release. And again, just draw it up. So you're trying to lift it up as high as you can and release and we just go one more draw that up and release okay well done so let's just come back up now the next exercise we're going to do is we're going to go for doing that squat and squeeze back so we're going to squat down and then we're just going to squeeze those arms behind so we'll do 30 of these and back here this one here is great for obviously turning through the bottom. It's a good calorie burner because we're burning, um, working so many major muscle groups. Keeping that back. How are you feeling? Good. Not two hours of breath. No. no. But can you kind of feel it working? Yeah. Okay, that's good. And back. Well done. So again, we're just aiming for 30. Then we're going to come down onto the floor. Okay, let's go last 10 and take that nine and then go eight, seven. Six and let's go last five and then four, three, two, and one. Okay, perfect. So we'll grab the mat, so we're going to come down onto the hands and the knees. So for the next exercise, so we've come down onto the floor and we're going to work through those abs. And what we want to do is just make sure you've got the hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. And what we're going to do now is just slowly take away the opposite arm to leg and then draw that back in. Let's keep that nice and controlled. Well done. And we'll just go seven more. And then take that six. And what you want to do is make sure we're not twisting through the hips, so we're keeping them nice and stable. So you're doing that by really focusing on keeping those abs pulled in tight. Well done. <clears throat> so once we've done our 10, let's now just go for doing a basic press up. So you take the hands out a little wider and we're just going to slowly come down. This is really good because this will help keep the upper body nice and strong so we just lower down and let's push back up. And what's really important is remember with any of these exercises just keep them really slow and controlled because it just means then you're doing them with good quality. And back down and push up. Once we've done our 10, we're then going to go to the next side to the bottom. And back down. It. All right, so our next one, we're gonna then just extend one leg straight. We want to again make sure that we keep our hips square to the ground and we're just gonna lift that leg and we're gonna go for doing 20 tiny little pulses, which is lifting through the bottom. The other thing to be aware of is when we're pregnant and we do produce a hormone known relaxing, just means your body is a lot more flexible. So you just want to be careful when you're doing your exercise that you don't overstretch or overuse a range of motion. That's good, scooping that up. Again, you can just feel that through the bottom. Yeah, perfect. So we're just doing 20, lifting that up. And also, it's a really good idea to just make sure you've got plenty of water, drink lots of water. So that's a very safe, low impact, full body toning workout. And of course, the other thing that is really good to do is walking. Walking is one of the best ways to keep fit as well through pregnancy. This is the first pregnancy that I've ever worked out, 
which is really embarrassing to say, but it's true. Um, and I feel like this time round, I've got abs, like I've got ab muscles, like I can still see my abs even with my bump. I have to say that which picture of you on nice. holiday. It oh, shows it in the bikini. I was pregnant in that picture. <laughs> I was oh, that's it, amazing. That's like, how? I know, that is incredible. <laughs> that was before eating. <laughs> Just goes to show, you know, actually doing the exercise, I think so many people get scared and yeah. then they, it can harm their baby and it, you know, it definitely won't as long as you do the right forms of exercises. Yeah. You know, and it's kind of common sense. You don't really want to do anything that's super high impact. You don't want to do any contact sports. And you know, you can still do like HIIT training, but you just don't do the high impact. Yeah. You can do like low intensity. So you can still do things like skaters lunges. Yeah. You can do that, take out the jump, you know, and do kind of 20 seconds where you push yourself a little bit harder. But you know, the most important thing is listen to your body. If something feels uncomfortable, don't do it. Yeah. And like I said, this is something really easy. You can do it at home. You don't need any equipment or anything like that. You just use your own body weight and it's really simple to do so I hope you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to Lucy for more and I will talk to you next week bye, bye.